Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting to Farouk. Guys, we're going to be reacting to top five ancient Indian martial arts. Independence Day special, guys. Let's get straight into this. Ha. When you say martial arts, the first thing that comes to your mind is Kung Fu, Karate and maybe China and Japan for being the birthplace of yeah, these martial arts. Exactly. But did you know that martial arts as a concept came from southern parts of India? There are even written scriptures that the person who taught Kung Fu to East Asia was Bodhidharma, who was actually a South Indian king. India is the birthplace of martial wow. arts and somehow we end up looking to the East for the same. Therefore, today, Simbri Chuma is counting down the top 5 martial art forms of India. Number 5. Silambam Closely linked to Kerala's Kalari Payattu, Silambam is an ancient stick martial art of Tamil Nadu. According to Sangam era literature, there were a number of hey. exercise centers called Silambak Kudams all over the Dravida Nadu region and the age-old art patronized by the Chera, Chola and Pandya rulers is recorded as one of the 64 art forms of ancient India. The word Silam in Tamil stands for hills and Mambam, the Marhat word for bamboo, stands for bamboo from the hills. These sticks are usually found on the hills in that particular region. This martial arts salient features are its well-structured techniques, fluid footwork and smart fighting strategies. Number 4. Tangta Tangta literally means sword and spear. It is one aspect of Huyen Langlan, art of war or method of safeguarding, a Ooh. traditional martial art from Ooh. Manipur. Its other aspect is Sarit Sarag that involves unarmed combat. This martial art form integrates various external weapons, the sword, spear and dagger, with the internal practice of physical control through soft movements coordinated with breathing rhythms. Oh. However, the heart of Tangta is the sword. There are hundreds of different sword drills that teach the basic strokes and stepping patterns of this fighting style. Shit. Number 3. Mardani Khel Originally from Maharashtra, Mardani Khel is a weapon-based martial art form. It owes its development to the geographic conditions of the state, hills, caves and valleys. A very ancient form of art, it saw its emergence during the Maratha dynasty. Kolhapur used to be the centre of the Maratha kingdom and the villages around it had talims or training centres where skilled elders prepared youngsters for war. After the revolt of 1857, the British banned the use of weapons and the Talims were forced to turn Mardani Khel into a folk game to ensure its survival. The use of weapons such as swords, tatyar or dagger, lati kathi, bamboo sticks, vita or darts, bhala or javelin, dand and patta, long bladed swords continued but the moves were made more stylized and less lethal. Number 2. Gatka Originating from the state of Punjab, Gatka is believed to be a battle technique created by Sikh warriors during the martial period of the great Sikh gurus. A style of stick fighting between two or more practitioners, Gatka is a toned down version of the deadlier Shastar Vidya, the fighting style of the fearsome Akali Nihangs or the blue turbaned sect of Sikh fighters that was banned by the British after the Anglo-Sikh wars. The sharp swords of Shastar Vidya have been replaced by wooden sticks and shields in Gatka. Number 1. Kalari Payat Often known as the mother of all martial arts, this 3,000-year-old art form originating from Kerala draws inspiration from the raw power, swift movements and sinuous strength of majestic animals – the lion, tiger, elephant, wild boar, snake and crocodile. The term Kalari refers to the place where this combat style is taught, while Payata means to practice. Supposedly, the art form was introduced by Parashurama. This combat style has different levels through which one learns how to fight with and without handheld weapons. It has lately emerged in a new avatar as a source of inspiration for self-expression in contemporary dance forms, theatre, fitness techniques and movies too. This video and most of our videos at Simbli Chuma are intended to make sure that we know about our past. And before telling this to the world, we should tell this to ourselves and completely mean it. Mera Bharat Mahan. 
Before we end this video, please do press the like button. If you want to express your encouragement monetarily, then the link to our Patreon page is in the description below. Do share this video with your friends and subscribe to Simli Chuma for more videos on India. Guys, I feel one thing we should never lose in this life is history. History, guys, generally speaking, like, it's, it's needed. Like it's it's evolves over time, and obviously, by the time you go like a bit far into the future, you might probably want to forget what whatever like you have previously. Which it shouldn't be so, guys. Generally speaking, I think history should be a huge part of our lives. Yeah. Who would have ever thought that Indians were the originators of kung fu? Never would I have ever <laughs> even imagined. Not even in my wildest imaginations would I think India. Because what I know Indians for is dance in movies. Yeah. yeah. Those are the things I know India for. And I'm really, really impressed that they were the ones who were the originators of kung fu. It's like it's actually surprising. It's though, a surprising but, discovery, guys. But it's very, very interesting that they were not able to forget that history. Like it's actually I feel when you follow your history, you actually learn a lot. A lot. Try to prevent some certain things from happening. Exactly. It's just so beautiful, guys. Tell me what you think about this video, guys. Like, tell me how you felt the first time you actually checked this out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time, guys.